I'm going to finish this demonstration by showing you how you can open a CoLab notebook that someone else has shared with you. So uh, typically they'll give you a link to the notebook and what you need to do is basically save a copy of it into your own Google Drive. Um, so here's an example. Here's a link to a Google CoLab notebook. So I'm going to click on that. And I don't actually have to do any sort of cloning or anything to get this to work. Um, if I want, I can go up to the file menu and select open in playground mode. And if I open this in playground mode, then what this does is it allows me to basically run the code um, without doing anything else. But the problem is that I will not be able to uh, modify the code or ed edit and save it until I make my own copy of it. So if all you want to do is just take a notebook that someone has written and try running it, the playground mode is fine. But notice it says cannot save changes. If you actually want to um, save the changes, then there's a button here that says copy to drive. Um, you can also select save a copy in Drive. And if you do this, then what it'll do is create a copy of this and then switch over to your own Google Drive. Now I don't have to open this in playground mode or anything else. All I have to do is just go ahead and click on the cell and it'll run. Notice that it's called copy of in the title here. And if I wish, I could go ahead and uh, create a new text cell. And um, then go ahead and save this. And now it will be saved on my own personal copy of the drive. So, um, if I then go to my Google Drive and click on CoLab Notebooks, I can see here is the copy that I uh, saved on my own drive. And if I open it up, just as was the case before, I have to click on that button on the top. But now I can see. Um, here is the script, including the changes that I made and saved. So it's basically my own copy of the notebook that I can do anything that I want with. So uh, as was the case with the Azure notebooks, the CoLab notebooks will eventually time out. The, um, the, uh, they're running on a server in the cloud and those servers don't keep running forever. So they're good for short-term coding, um, but they are, not something where you could run, have a script and leave it running for days. 